Hey guys, so I'm doing another video, and this video is about um, back to school uh, outfits and fall outfits. And this look was inspired by um, in my ultimate style guide um, for girly how to wear a ruffle top. So I'm wearing a leopard print ruffle top with a scrunch belt, a cocktail ring for jewelry, and some nice dark wash jeans and some black flats. Good back to school fall outfit. The next book I have is also inspired by um in my seventeen style guide, um, girly. And just take a really nice, pretty floral floral dress. Um big pattern. If you're wearing a big pattern you don't need a lot of jewelry, so I paired it with this cute bow ring. And for my shoes, I'm wearing just red buckle strap Mary Janes. They're in eye-catching red. So when you're wearing a big print, keep things minimal. You can also pair it with a belt if you want, but I figured since this has a scrunch belt that a belt wouldn't be needed. One of the next looks I have is one that I put together myself. I just paired um, a patterned leopard print flowy top with a black pencil skirt. And doing this works really well for petite fr frames, and I am a petite frame, so. Um, I paired the skirt with a skinny belt, and it's always nice to mix flowy with um, skin tight, not flowy. It's always good sometimes pairing opposites. And I just paired this simple nice, it's kind of a classic look, with some nice um, quilted flats. And again, I kept the accessories minimal. I just paired it with a pearl ring, and it matches my pearl earrings. Pearls are very classic, which adds to the effect that the outfit has a very classic appeal to it. And overall, it's just really comfy to wear. So it's great for back to school. Um, sitting's no problem because the pencil skirt's a little bit lower than some of them. The next fall school lookbook look is a nice floral top with a little tie bow up here. Nice ribbon. And a flirty, girly, flippy black mini. And to make this whole outfit look a little bit more playful and schoolgirl, add some Oxfords. And then just some nice, pair it with some nice flirty earrings like I've paired here. I've paired some um, hearts with bows for a very kind of flirty sort of look. And when it cools down or gets cool, pair it with a nice cozy cable knit cardi. And you have a perfect, fun look for school. You can also um, belt the cardigan if you want. I don't know if it would look particularly good with this. There you have a nice fall school outfit. The last and final outfit I will be showing you for my fall back to school look lookbook, I'll probably do more, um, but the last look I just paired a nice knit mini, tight knit mini, with a nice tight sh blue shirt, a nice statement necklace, and some nice feather earrings, so all together it gives it a sort of tribal look, and I just paired it with some nice classic black flats, so kind of adds, um, a bit of sophistication and class to the outfit. I 
hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope that it has given you some inspiration how to coordinate um, some of your fall and back to school outfits. Um, don't be afraid to pair this with some nice black opaque tights and any of my other looks with either, either nice colorful tights, black opaque, or cable knit tights to ensure that your fall outfits will be warmer. Um, add scarves, some nice cute uh, knit caps, whatever you want. <sighs> Enjoy back to school in style, guys. <laughs> Bye. Also for the last look, which is this look, um, you can also pair your t-shirt over your mini to give it a sort of overall different effect to the outfit. And I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will hopefully be doing another video like this. Um, this is my first, so I'm a bit rusty on how to do these. But yeah, tell me what you think, comment, whatever. Um, bye guys.